Hello everybody, uh, welcome to another episode of Dave's Corner. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to do a little review on the Magellan 30 ounce tumbler versus the Yeti 30 ounce tumbler. Uh, is it worth it to pay the extra money for the Yeti? Uh, honestly, people, I'm not so sure. Uh, now on the, the black one cup is uh, the Magellan uh, 30 ounce tumbler that I bought at Academy uh, Sports and Outdoors. I paid uh, roughly about $15, $16 for it. I did get the the handle that you can buy extra uh, to put on it. You can see it's got the little Magellan sign on it. Um, it costs an extra $4. So roughly $20 invested in the Magellan. Um, the bottom of the Magellan, let's see if you can see it real good. It does have the Magellan uh, logo embedded on it. Um, and I just really liked it. I liked the fact that it had the flag on it. and It just, it just looked cool. So I, I picked it up at Academy uh, yesterday. They do have another version of it. It's got the Don't Tread on Me with the snake on it. Uh, I'll probably wind up picking that up within the next week or two if they still have them in stock. Now, obviously, on the opposite side, I do have the, the Yeti 30-ounce tumbler that I got uh, about six, seven months back. Uh, I've had it for a little while. I, lo I love it. Uh, I'm not going to lie. But is it worth the extra money that you would pay, you know, for the Yeti over this Magellan? Now, this Magellan here is a little bit different than a lot of the Magellan tumblers. Uh, as you can see, it does have the silver down here at the bottom, which I really like. I do not care nothing for the solid all the way down uh, painted version or or whatever coating that they put on it. I'm, I've never been a fan of that. Uh, I do like the, the silver bottoms. Uh, on them and that's another thing that finally got me to purchase this cup because they finally came out with a cup that does have a silver bottom on it like the yetis do now as far as the rest of it does it keep things cold uh does it hold ice absolutely uh, i've used this cup non-stop for the last couple of days i uh, put ice in it uh yes you know uh, late last night and i was still using the ice up till a little bit this afternoon so it's held ice you know for roughly about 24 hours so I mean you can't ask for much more than that um, other than that the lid uh, now I do like this lid it uh, snaps down it's got the, the the Magellan emblem on it and let's turn it up you gonna leak I mean you can barely see a little bit of leakage coming out of the Magellan with that, with the, the snap lid on it. Now let's try the Yeti with the, their famous little mag slider. What are you going to do? Oh, that's a steady stream of leakage. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> uh, you can take that for what, what you want to with it, people. Uh, the the lid on the on the Magellan seems to be a little bit better. I turned the Magellan up a while ago and uh, it didn't leak at all. This time here, uh, it did have a couple of uh, little dribbles that you know come out. You know, every once in a while you'll see a drop uh, come out. But other than that, it's pretty secure on there uh, it is a snap top lid uh, it's got a little rubber piece right here that goes down and snaps into the the lid there uh, fits it in but uh anyway uh, like I said people uh, it's basically it's preference if you can afford the Yeti and you're just into the Yetis I mean you know by all means you know get your yeti but if you just want if you're wanting a solid cup that's I, i'm going to say and i'm not sponsored to say this i'm not paid or endorsed at this time to to do these videos i'm going to say the magellan cup 
man, it's been just as good as that Yeti has been. And I really have uh, enjoyed my Yeti cups. I've got a lot of Yeti cups. Uh, I usually collect all their co colors that they come out with uh, and everything. But since, like I said, since Magellan did put the silver on the bottom, uh, that was enough extra because i mean you're setting your your cups down a lot and scooting them around and this and that and you just don't want the bottoms of them to be scraped and um i had a ozark trail that i'd bought from a uh, walmart a 30 ounce tumbler it was black just like the magellan and i i noticed over time within a year it was all the bottom of the paint had started scratching up and peeling up from setting it down and stuff like that so uh that kind of deterred me away from the solid bottom uh coated cups and that's one reason why i started buying the yetis and but now magellan come out with uh this here and uh man i just uh kind of like it i really like the cup and uh and, and stuff so you know like i said if you if you want to save a few bucks uh, man, go after that Magellan. It's just as good, holds ice just as long, in my opinion, from what I've noticed over the last couple of days since I've had it. Uh, so, uh, go to Academy, uh, Sports and Outdoors, and I'll pick you one up, people. Um, they come in different colors. They got them in a, in black, white, and, uh, I believe a dark blue color. Uh, that's that's like this one here that I picked up and uh, so and they've even got some red ones if you can if you can find them sometimes uh, you can always go on their the, the Academy sports and outdoors website I'll leave that link uh, in the in the in the description so uh, anyhow uh, there you go with your review people uh, Leave me a comment and tell me what you think. Tell me if you've gotten any um, of the Magellans. Uh, tell me what you think of the Magellans. Uh, if you're a Yeti fan, uh, tell me what you like better about the Yetis. Uh, but anyhow, uh, this has been another episode of Dave's Corner. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget, people, to leave me a like. And uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for, for, for further uh updates on other merchandise that i may uh be purchasing uh from academy sports and outdoors um thank y'all and uh y'all have a great summer this is dave from dave's corner and i'm out